Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. My area is eastern Pierce County. It's a huge area with a small amount of deputies. We've got a lot of good people out here. We got everything going on here. We got a lot of meth in this area. A lot of tweakers. Uh, we got a manager of our, one of our local hotels calling in saying he's got a problem with one of his customers, saying he might be high or intoxicated, yelling and screaming. So we're going to find out where he's at here. Room 21? Room 21. I mean, this guy is black. Yeah, he's black. Is he? Yeah. He okay. stand up. He's, he's going. There he is, right there. Sir! Sir! Don't put your hands in your pocket. Let me see your hands, right now! 488 County, you got one running behind the building. Stop right there! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Got him. Ooh. He threw something over there. Okay, I know. Ooh. <laughs> I thought they had to get me. Let's the hand right here. Yes, sir. I thought they had to me, sir. Got any weapons on you? No, sir. I never carry them. You never carry any weapons? No, sir. Before I get camera, you got one detained. Go ahead. I never carry them, sir. Pull over. Yes, sir. Get on your knees. Yes, sir. I'm I can sorry. do it. Stand up. Yes, sir. Get the wall. Yes, sir. Put your feet. Yes, sir. I'm in thorns. Why'd you run? I was sorry. I thought somebody was trying to get me. What'd you throw in the bushes? I'm high. I ran. It was money. I threw everything. It was money. My money. Yeah. I'm scared. Because you're high? What do you yes, sir, I've been dealing with a high a long time. High in yeah. what? Oh, in cocaine, sir. Okay, you got any cocaine in your room? No, sir. Okay, where's the cocaine then? I don't. Oh, I, I, I had money. I was coming out to score. Coming out to score? Yeah, I thought they were going to pound me. Uh-huh. I've been doing it a little too long. Okay. How, how long have you been awake, man? Too long, sir. What's Anyone too long? From, a couple uh, days? No, more than that. More than that, huh? A little more. paranoid? I, I can't get, excuse me, I just passed it. Huh? Yes, I can be, yes. I'm on guard to guard my safety and my freedom. You're on guard to guard your safety and your freedom, yes, huh? So are we. If you would have said, please stop, halt, huh? I would have halt like the military. Oh, okay. oh, really? Yes, sir. I did everything you said. I do appreciate that. Yes, sir. Okay, but one thing you're not doing is walking. Just walking yeah, around. But my feet are injured. Your feet are injured from what? I got football feet. Okay. Must be why we caught you. No, see. What's this? <laughs> Which way is this guy going? I got to take a seat. Feet. I want you to take a seat right here. I will, I will. Can you release the trash? Okay, why don't you sit down? Hi, I'm on probation. I just... I'm on bail and bond. Oh, really? I ran you before we got here. No, I'm not on probation. I'm okay. on bond. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Okay. Sit all the way down. There you go. Ouch. Which one's your apartment? Oh, which one's your hotel room? 21. 21? Yeah. Okay. And I paid, I paid that man cash up front. I'm good till the 4th of okay. Monday. Watch right here. I'm going to go Or 11 o'clock okay. on Monday. Is that How long you been doing cocaine today? I've been doing cocaine off and on since I'm 26 years old. Well, how about today? today You've been just I've doing been it? doing it every chance I got when I got money. Ah, I don't okay. deal. How I you been smoke. getting your money? I earn my money. Okay. By Where's working. Your Where's your pipe? Pipe? Yeah, I never had, I lost my pipe. Long time ago, that's why I had to come out to try to score and fight. 
I was using a can uh -huh. until I emptied the garbage about 10, 15 uh -huh. minutes ago. Okay. So, but, but I don't even have underwear on, sir. I can see that. See, what I get, what I get, this, this, see, it's not only the high, it's the bipolar. With the mania and the cocaine mixture. But, According thanks to, his, to you uh, guys. His girlfriend over there, he's uh, basically been up for about four or five days, so. Um, he doesn't have anything on him. But I'm gonna go right. um, the Seroquel. landlord here does want him kicked out of the place. I'll leave, but he owes me $40 so if I leave. It's not a crime now. to be high, unfortunately. Yeah. Officer, so. he owes me $40 if the I leave. The problem is if we kick him out, where is he, where is he going to go? Do you got somewhere to go tonight? Yes, sir. Or how are you going to get there? In that little red car, Christine will drive. Oh, you ain't driving. Christine will drive. I'll oh, shot man. Military style, if you like. Why don't you stand up? You need help? Don't no, kick no, me. I don't need help. I don't need help. Yeah, you need, you need you help. You want to bet? Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, right. I don't want to bet. Yeah, I need okay, help. Okay, lean forward. There you go. Okay, I'm going to take these cuffs off. You're going to walk exactly straight to your apartment. Yeah. I've already yeah, cleared the apartment. There load? isn't any weapons or can anything. Can I have her load? And then you're going to go grab your stuff and take off, all right? Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. You're going to walk right towards your apartment. Okay? Yeah. We're cutting you a break, Tim. Thank you very much, sir. We easily arrest you for obstruction. Thank you very much. Okay, for not listening to us. And we Thank you very much, sir. Who we are. Okay. I didn't know you were an officer, though. Okay, well, now you know. Yes, All right? Sir. Grab your stuff. I'm trying to remember Go that voice. Go to another place with your girlfriend. Yes, this is sir. where you need to be. He stayed here last night. He's just walking up and down, like knocking on people's doors, acting real wild and crazy. So I came over here and I had a talk with him. I told him, just stay in your room. Tonight will be your last night here. And after that, you'll have to check out. And he goes, well, I get kicked out of every place I live. And I said, well, I wonder why. You know, and he goes, no, no, it's not like that. I was like, well, yeah, it is. I said, I'm not gonna put up with this. And he said, well, call the cops on me then and slam the door. I said, that's fine. OK. So I just went over and called the police. That works. Thanks. You going? Yeah, I'm going. Cash. Taking an extra roll toilet paper for about $40. Extra roll toilet paper, huh? Let's go, Christine. OK. He's been up for four days, high on cocaine. Scary situation because they can really fight and feel no pain. Ah. Gladia gave up rather than us have to fight him. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. I grew up basically around a um, family of police officers. I have a father still involved in law enforcement, and I just kind of grew up hearing the stories, hearing what was going on out here. It sounded fun. Uh, I was not pressured into this job, which was good. Uh, family is very supportive on whatever I wanted to do, but it's an honor to uh, follow my father's footsteps and uh, be a police officer. We have two uh, uniformed officers out in a unmarked vehicle right now, driving around. And that'll be the West Valley, right? And this particular hey, alley is a is a known alley uh, for a gang activity um, for the gang members to come out, um, sell their drugs, use their drugs, and harass the um, residents who live within the apartment complex. This is an ongoing problem, so we have, we're out here trying to saturate and try to catch some of the guys in the alley. I'll grab it. I'm northbound through the alley now. They're uh, making an eastbound turn. I'm going to try to catch up with this vehicle. It was seen coming out of the alley. So hey. Put your hands on the dashboard, bro. There you go. On the dashboard, sit forward. There you go. We'll stay in the alley. Everybody else, just relax. You guys are going to the street. Yeah, go ahead, Sergeant. Just FYI, we have the white Camino uh, two on board. 
Uh, negative. We have a male white with a button-down shirt and a male Hispanic, a uh, blue baseball cap, and a blue and white striped uh, polo type shirt. Yeah. Get out of the car. Just keep your hands where you can see them. Don't reach down. He swallowed something. Spit it out. 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 Spit it out, bro. Spit it out. Ah. Spit it out, dude. Spit it out. Spit. Sácalo del. Abre tu boca. Abre tu boca. Open, oh. open it. Open it. Go ahead. It's, it's here to help you. You're here to help you. Te queremos ayudar. Open. No te vamos a poder ayudar. There you go. Okay, there you go. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's in pieces. It's on his arm. Oh, really? Oh, 314 units. Just a fly. We got a passenger 415. He swallowed some dope on us. He's got gum too, but he definitely swallowed some crack. Ready? One, two, three. Spread your feet, amigo. He spit out chunks on his arm. Do you have any drugs on you right now in your pockets? Just the one you swallowed? His partner says uh, he had a wafer of cocaine when they drove up. And uh, as soon as he saw me getting ready to pull him over, um, he said he whipped it out. He had it in a plastic bag. He didn't see him put it in his mouth, but the, he said he did see him with it initially. So well, That's what he swallowed. All right, I'll do the driver if you want to do the uh, passenger in Spanish. OK. I'll take care of that. Way. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? What's your name, sir? My name's Kevin. Kevin? OK, you're on parole? Yes. Parole for what? Uh, attempting to possess narcotics in 98. Attempting to OK. Who's this young uh, gentleman that was your passenger over here? Um, in a nutshell, I, I just came to pick up a girl. Mm -hmm. And he said, give me a ride quick, quick, quick. You can come back, she'll be ready. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you know, I saw the police. I go, hey, you know, what's going on? He started wadding mm -hmm. up. And he, I said, don't you dare put that in my car. And then I pulled over and I just stopped right here. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. OK. All right. What brings you this part of Santa Ana? A girl named Shasta I met two weeks ago. And then I met her again last week. And here I am again. Where does she live? Uh, I don't know if she lives down there, but she freaked she works out of there. OK, but what brings you to this alley, this particular alley? Pick up a girl and go party and have fun. OK. You're what? driving out of the alley. This guy just jumps in your car? No. Uh, when I was sitting there waiting, mm -hmm. he said, hey, I need to ride around the corner. You can come back. She's busy. She'll be ready in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. OK. So we drive pulling around the corner, exactly like I said. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw you guys behind me. I go, hey, the police are behind What's going on? Then he started wadding up. I told the female officer, you know, I don't know what the going on, but mm -hmm. he dropped that. I'm, I'm pulling over and I right in here. What do you mean, wadding what stuff up? Yeah, a piece of plastic. Piece of plastic? You no, know, obviously cocaine. Okay. But you never met him before? Never. Is there anything else in your car we're going to find that might be illegal or you're not supposed to be in possession of right now? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. Just wait here, okay? You didn't come back? Uh, so far, suspended CDL. She was thinking about doing uh, the driver for the uh, soliciting the intent to purchase narcotics. His passenger tested positive for cocaine, so both are going to go tonight. Both will be off the streets. Hopefully this alley will be a little bit safer tonight. You know, I love working out here in Vegas, but at times it can become extremely hot. You know, we get temperatures in excess of 110 degrees, and we can get those temperatures for a month, two months straight. Um, at times we can be on calls two, three, possibly even four hours at a time to where you're in a per perimeter position, uh, just standing outside of your car, you know? So it, it's very important to stay hydrated. You can start running into to physical problems if, if you don't drink enough water out here. Uh, we've just been dispatched on a call. Uh, details of the call are is the PR call and said the vehicle has been parked at the gas pump for the past four hours. Uh, subject may be highly intoxicated. Uh, one of our officers is out on the subject now. We'll be en route to back them and assist them on the investigation to find out why the subject's been sitting at the gas pump. All right, where'd your shoes go, buddy? They're in the car. 
I got 80 mile drive ahead of me. How long have you been um, out in this car here? How long have I been out in the cars? Yeah, in other words, how long have you been sitting right here? Sitting right here? I'm going to be up 10 minutes looking for my keys. 10 minutes? Looking for my keys. So you And my ID. You've only been here 10 minutes. The lady inside says you've been here four hours. No, 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 that's not me. Okay, don't move, we talked about I, I, I have proof. It was somebody different? I have proof. Okay, so if the cameras say you've been here four hours, that would surprise you? Um... Uh, there's no way I could be at the campus for four hours. What time is it right now? I left at 8.30. You tell me. You left your house at 8.30? What time do you think it is right now? What time do I think it is? Um, about 9.30 maybe? Mm, try again. 10. 11.45 a.m. Okay, it's 11.45 yeah. a.m. Yeah. All right, well... Um, you know it's parking, I'm not sure. There's only one way to explain that, is that, you know, I left when I could. I, I left when I could. Will you, can you call the person I was at? No, no. You're telling me this is your mother's car. This is my mother's car. Okay. Can you see Officer Baker found something? Uh, we have several unknown one type of pills. There's no label on it. Nothing to indicate that it's a prescription of any type. That's uh, probably what's contributing to this problem here right now. Well, what happened to the label that generally comes on I, prescription pill bottles? The only other label I had was a, another label that I had to rip off the name because it wasn't my mother's name. Okay, well, then how did you get a prescription that didn't belong to your mother? That was because I was consolidating the bottles to bring down as less as possible. Consolidating the bottles? Yes. And one of those bottles didn't have your mother's name on it. Yes. And in so you were bottle. taking pills that didn't have her name and mixing it with the pills I wasn't that. Taking them. Who are you consolidating them. for? Her pain. Okay, so you're giving her pills that aren't even prescribed to her? Um. So yes or no? Yes, I am. Okay. You're a pharmacist of some type now. No, I'm not a pharmacist. What do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Well, actually, for 13 years, I was a professional musician. Okay. A classical musician. I went to college. I have a degree. All right. I the Las Vegas Philharmonic. I taught everything. My mother got in a very bad accident. Ever since then, my main focus is her, her finances. Do you do impersonations of any type? You know, she got makeup on right now. I don't have any makeup on right now. Well, you have lipstick on your lips. There is no lipstick on my lips. There's chapstick on my lips. Is that, oh, chapstick? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Maybe my lips are chapped. Good answer. You want to look at my chapstick I guess, uh, I guess there? Stand here for a second, okay? Just, you just stand there. Relax for a minute, okay? Okay, we're still working on trying to help you out with your vehicle, okay? We, we're trying to get a hold of, of your mother. You and, can't get a hold of my mother. Uh, but we're working on it, okay? But the, the real issue here is this, okay? And this is what I honestly believe. Okay, you got a drug problem. Okay. I do. You've been here for the past four hours, and you think that you've only been here for about an hour. Okay, well, I'm not here to debate that. Okay, we got a witness that placed here for the past four hours. Secondly, you're unable to find your keys. Okay. You're in the car. You All didn't right, give me a chance to look. And you, you had no idea where your keys were. Thankfully, you had no idea where your keys were because you probably might have hurt somebody. Check the cameras. Okay. I've not been here for four hours. I didn't even go in for a coke. I didn't even get my cigarettes. Okay. Oh, what did you get? Cigarettes, they're on the counter, where my keys might be. Okay. Any gas at all? I was going to get gas. I was never able to do that. Okay, so we just interrupted all that. Yeah. And everyone's lying I'm to us. I'm going to the hospital. The clerk is out of her mind. She hasn't seen you here for the last couple of hours. How I've heard your side of the story. As a result of all these things, we're going to take you to jail. Okay. Take a seat in the car. Can I get shoes on? Uh, get in the car, and we'll try to accommodate you afterwards, okay? Say it's to get her nine, quarter to nine. Uh, denies going in the store. I have a conversation. Well, yeah, he was in the store. And the reason why he was in the store until quarter to 12 was because he was doing shopping. What did he buy? Nothing. Oh, OK. Didn't even get any gas. Okay. And supposedly, his soda's still in there on the counter, which we interrupted. And as a result, he left his drink behind and... Oh, well, because when I came up, he was in the car putting on lipstick, so... Uh, yeah. The story's not matching. Not at all. Well, he's going for a felony, so... All right. We're good here. Good deal. You need me for anything else? No, all thank right. you. I'm going to go Appreciate help with this bank robbery. 
That's the same that's, guy. That's the individual you saw in the car? Four hours. Yeah. You've been here for quite a while. I what don't know what I... you're doing out there, but... Uh -huh. Out here? Yeah, you were sitting right there. I was thumbing through my car before I put my gas. I paid for my gas. I don't know about that. I don't okay. think you did. What happened with the items that you went in the store and, and not quite purchased, you, you picked up and walked out with? Where did those items go? Did when, I purchase when, any items? No, you, well, you didn't pay for them. A bunch of stuff, and you said I was going to go get my credit card, and I'd be right back. And that's when they came. Yeah. So when I, before I even had a chance to get my credit card and go back. No, you. It was a good thirty minutes in between. Well, maybe I was looking for it. Well, maybe you don't know what time it is. Well, this guy really needs to get help and get off the drugs. Uh, his keys have been on top of his car the entire time, for the past four hours. Uh, these were the keys, or this is the key, that he was unable to find. That's the position right here on the roof. Talking about time war, drugs are a daily weapon for the brain. It's amazing what drugs would do to your mind. TCM 21, disregard that last transition. We're back on Central. We're going to the area of uh, Belmont Fulton. We got a armed subject with a knife. Uh, behind the methadone clinic there. Apparently, uh, RP saw it, and there's uh, people running, so I know if we have a disturbance, anybody's injured or anything. Um, we're we're going to be there shortly. It's just around the corner. Where at? Where are you? Where? We're on. Is there something going on in the alley? Yeah. What's going on? My God, it's going seven. Don't run. Don't, don't run. What's going on in the alley? They're stabbing somebody. Okay. And I took Sam, to Sam, two. It's right don't. there. I okay. took okay. it away. Okay. Don't reach. Okay. okay. Don't don't reach for it. Don't don't don't. No, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Watch the blood. He has okay. AIDS. Two Sam. Has two AIDS. Sam. Two one. We're out with the subject. She has the knife on her. She has blood on her. We have her detained. We don't need code three. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go down to your knees. Yeah. Go down to your knees. Okay. okay. She has blood, so let's watch. Yeah. Hey, Sarge, grab some gloves. We have blood on this thing. Apparently, the person has AIDS. Supposedly, he is the suspect. She just has the knife and took it from him as he was stabbing somebody. Yeah. Which way? Which way? Where was he at? They're over there. They're over there. Where? Out front? Yeah. I think I cut my hand. He's okay. has AIDS. As soon as we get the knife from you, we'll let you go, okay? Okay. Do I go to the hospital? What do I do? They got less lethal fire yeah. there. Have a, go ahead and just have a seat. Cross your legs right now. Hey, Sarge, they got him in the alley. Can you watch the girls? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got a subject in the alley. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be our suspect or victim. He's all bloody. Our Sarge is out with him right now. We're just trying to get on over here. Okay, go. Okay. Yeah, HIV. HIV. Stay right there, buddy. You know what? Hey, shit. How do you? Just he's tasered up. Who's got the He got tasered. Stay there. Don't get up. Get back over here, bowling. What's he gonna do, Paul? Hit him. Stay there. Don't get back up. He's up again. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'll pull sets out. Hey, stay on your back. Just uh, stay on your back. See, stay down. Do not get up. Do not get up or you're going to be hit. Don't be doing that. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. And what you going to do? Stay calm. Stay. Do not get up. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Hey, uh. Rosetti, yeah. tell uh, Fire what we have here. Okay, uh, HIV positive. Yeah. So just be careful. Yeah. Make sure you got gloves. <clears throat> you want us to take up? Go. Watch out for blood. Throw your cuffs. Pull out sacred cuffs. Actually, pat them down. Pat them down. Okay. I, I already pat them down. Okay, Pat, don't, and that's put on the gurney. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, stand on up. Uh, Ready? One, two, three. Okay, now turn around. I'm gonna turn step back around. real quick. Watch, step back. Watch, 
right back for a second. So relax. Okay, that was good. You kind of control them just by the fingertips. Can you tighter? We're good. We, is this our suspect? Sarge, we, when we first came up, we had a, a female who had a knife on her in her back po uh, pocket. Apparently, she was the one that was trying to keep the guy or pull the knife away from the guy. She's detained, so I'm going to go back and talk to her. Yeah, if you, it sounds like she's trying to take a knife away from him now, so okay. if you can go clarify that, and then we can let this go. If we don't okay. Need we need to find out if she needs medical attention also. Yeah, I'll walk over there. Tell me, tell me what happened. He was uh, going like this all over. Okay, he was flailing the knife? Yeah. The guy, uh, what's his name again? Yeah, that guy in there. The guy that you said was in the ambulance said yeah. he had the knife? He was it. flailing the knife. Was he flailing it at anybody? Yeah, he was flailing at him. and then the, At who? At George and okay. at his son. And then he, his son hit him with a hammer, a uh, shovel behind his back. I go, leave him alone. He's okay, so his son hit the guy that was flailing the knife in the back with the shovel. Right. That's him. I was pushing. Okay, him. where's take us to where he could be? Hi, can we talk to you for a minute, George Jr. Right? Yeah. Can we talk to you for a minute? Is that okay? How old are you, son? Uh, How old? Huh? Eighteen. Okay. Can I talk to you down here real quick? Just it's regarding the uh, situation. Can you do me a favor? Can you? I know you talked to this officer. You mind telling me what happened? What you saw? Uh, what I saw was. All right, now I found out that it, it wasn't my brother. It might have been Stevie or somebody else. But they came to the door screaming, saying my dad is going to get stabbed with a knife, help him out. I come out just there. I see him swinging a knife. My niece and nephew are out here. My mom's screaming hysterical. I'm trying to, she's trying to get him in. I'm trying to, you know what I mean, look for something that I could grab to defend myself and my dad, mm. you know what I mean? And I see the shovel right there. I grab the shovel. I hit him. He starts backing up. What do you think the guy's with the knife's intention was? Honestly, my my from my point of view, I think he was trying to kill my dad. Okay, so you think he was trying to kill your dad? Yeah, that's what it looked like. He was why do you think? To... Why do you think he was trying to kill you? Why would he want to kill your dad? For what? What was the argument over? What was? I have no clue. I just, man, I came out here. And... So did your dad know him? I guess they, they. I don't know. So this big uh, this big fight or whatever, this big disturbance started over, you don't know, you have no idea? I, no I, I want to find my dad so I can find out what it started over. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you for right, your thank time. Thank you, guys. Apparently, when you guys first encountered him over on uh, Van Ness, he left and he came this way towards Fulton. When I saw him in the alley, he wouldn't uh, comply with any of our orders given to him. And at one point, he charges me. I'd tase him, and even then, he wanted to get back up. But overall, I thought uh, it turned out good, and he's in custody. He got the knife, so good job. Well, I have kind of a, a unique situation uh, that my wife is also a deputy sheriff with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department. I actually met my wife on a call one time. Uh, it was a domestic violence related call. We showed up, and I saw her there, and uh, that was it for me. It was love at first sight. Right now we're at a domestic with a possible knife out in front of a residence. I'm not sure all that's going on, but we'll figure it out here a second. 415, can I last call? 415 arriving the domestic with a knife. Chief Hey, where's Dominique? What? Turn around. Hands behind your back. Oh my god. You just need to calm down. For what? I didn't do things. Okay, well I'm gonna cuff you up and we'll Go figure out what's what. Me up. I didn't do any damn thing. Alright, we'll just relax for a second, man. You got any weapons on you? Nope. Yes, I want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. No weapons. All right. You're going to come right here? Yes, sir. And you're going to have a seat right here on the... I'm probably going back to the jail. Okay. Turn around and have a seat. Sit on it? Yep. Have a seat right there. Yeah. Well, that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. I'm just saying it's weird. It's just watching. Are you involved with what's going on? My brother attacked me. I'm sorry. Okay. He choked me. He ripped my shirt. Uh, Hold on. I'll give you an opportunity to talk. Yeah. Tell me what happened. I have witnesses right here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of my life. Okay. He started choking me, man, and I what love for? him. He's my brother. I just want to look at the kind of injuries you got. Tell me what's going on, man. I, I don't really have any injuries. Take a couple deep breaths. I love my brother, man, but he attacked me. 
Somebody said something about a knife. Is there a knife involved in what's going on here? No, there was no knife involved. Okay, somebody called and said there was a knife. No, there's no weapons. No weapons at all. Okay, so you guys both live here? No, he was actually supposed to be visiting. Okay. I didn't know that. And all of a sudden, you know, he's staying here. He's my brother. I love him, you know. I mean, I would I would have helped him give him a second chance, but that's all I can do. Okay. And then I had a friend bring this um, girl over I really don't like. Uh -huh. Went to a friend's house, and right. I was like, I'm leaving, but they kicked her out. And then all of a sudden, he started tripping, and then he pushed me into the wall, and then he pushed me a couple more times. And then, you know, the whole time, I was like, you know, call the cop, and he threatened to kill me. And, you know, I believe he almost did, because he had his arm, his hands around my neck, okay. choking me. We're going to try to figure out what's going on, okay, buddy? Can you keep people between me and him, please? Absolutely. I won't let him near you, okay? Oh, y'all can get between me and him, please. <laughs> what happened tonight? We were watching TV and my brother came in tripping because I sent a friend over there. They went over to kick it because I was depressed and I didn't want anyone around me. And they were to kick it and he got all irate and kicked them out of these 13, 16 year old houses. Right. And uh, we're sitting there, we start watching the movie, relaxing. And he comes over talking about out of my house, blah, 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 blah. He gets up in my face, and okay. I stood up, and he pushed me, so I pushed him back. Okay. And then he's, let's see. Did you choke him at all? Huh? Did you choke him? I tried to pick him up by his shirt, but his shirt ripped. Oh, I see his shirt ripped. He's got some marks on his neck. Around. Did you, like, maybe just try to... He's much wrestling, because he tried to grab me, and he's a little bit weaker than me, so I pushed him around. Okay, do you have any big bruises on you or anything like that on you? I don't have bruises on me. I don't figure he would. All right, sit tight. Can I talk to you for a sec? Me? Yeah, yeah, come on over here for a second. Talk to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, if you want to grab that, you can. Okay. Hey, uh, I know you told somebody else, but because I'm the one writing the report and all that, why don't you tell me what happened? Okay, what happened was I was in the room, and my brother, my stepbrother, Bobby, came in and told everybody to get out of the room. Mm -hmm. And Dominic got really pissed off because he was, I guess, that I, I don't know. But he pushed him against the wall. I was on the, I was on his chair in the bedroom, and I said, "Stop it, you guys! You need to stop it." And I guess that Dominic said, "I'm gonna cut your throat. I'm gonna kill you." Okay. And I guess that he, um, Bobby, pushed him off, off of him, and he, I guess Dominic went outside, and he came outside and he took off somewhere. And that's when uh, Bobby threw all the rest of his stuff out. Yeah, he was, he was really upset. He was, he was scared. He, he went into the extra room, got his stuff, and he threw it outside and locked the door. Okay. All right. I was there. I was kind of scared. <laughs> all right. We have his info and all that already? Excellent. Okay. Yeah, when he said and you're going to give me a handwritten statement tell me all that stuff? Yes, we're ready. Okay. I will. Excellent. If, I, if you want to help come over here with my partner, what we're going to do is get you to just write all that down, okay? In your own words. In my own words? Yeah, if you would, that'd be great. All right, I will. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Someone available to transport for me? All right, excellent. Stand up for me, partner. Do you have anything on that's going to hurt me, sick me, guns, weapons, drugs, knives, or needles of any kind whatsoever? Right now you're under arrest for domestic violence, assault, fourth degree against your brother. Do you understand that? we got statements that say that you were uh, choking him out more than just him telling us that, so you got to understand where we're coming from. When we have statements like that, then uh, we have to go with that. We don't have a crystal ball, and we weren't here during the entire time of the incident, so it's our responsibility to check that. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll just so you know what's going to happen tonight. Uh, Dominique's going to end up going to jail for domestic violence assault fourth degree tonight, okay? okay? Washington State law mandates that when there's an assault that happens, it takes all discretion away from us, and we are required to make an arrest, and that's what's going to happen tonight, okay? okay? You have the option of getting a restraining order, barring him from any contact from you, your residents, or anybody inside there. Since your son, okay. other son's an adult, he has to go get one for himself if he so chooses to do so. Um, since we're going to leave, just go ahead and pick up these items, take them inside, and if he, uh, when he comes back, you can get them then, or the court will appoint him a time to come back and get his stuff if you okay. so choose to get a restraining order, okay? All right. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad, really, I'm glad, sir, you're all right. Thank you. All Thank right. Thank you very much. All I hope you. you start feeling better, okay? <laughs> hey, I have Lincoln 21 standby on the monkey and the firebird. We're going to respond. Hi, Lincoln 21. We're en route to one of our local restaurants. We got a call about a guy in a gorilla suit that locked his keys out of his car. Got a phone call. From my backup, uh, wanting to know if he heard the call right. <laughs> this guy was in a gorilla suit, so you know, see what's going on. Now we made it one more. I'm 
What's going on, man? Did you call? Yeah, I locked, I locked my keys in my car. You locked your keys in the car? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what's, with, uh, what's with the monkey suit? I went Halloween shopping today. Oh. They didn't have a place for your keys or what? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Where's your, where's your car? That way. That way? All right. Well, why don't you walk on down there and we'll follow you down there, all right? What's the purpose of the monkey suit? Huh? Uh, wanted to surprise my friends for fun. Yeah. And I was in such a rush to get it on and run up there, and then I was like, oh crap, keys in the car. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ignition. <laughs> so this was a joke you were going to play on your friends, huh? <laughs> Just kind of surprise them? Yeah. Were they surprised? Yeah. Were you surprised, Kyle? Were they? <laughs> Do they know you locked your keys in the car? No, uh, he does. All of the other ones left, and we thought we'd get out of here. And, uh... Okay. Beautiful. There you go. Awesome. You're, in, you, you're in your car. All right. I got two left hey, hands. No problem. I can tell you this is the first time in my life I've shook hands with a gorilla. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. You are going to take, uh, you're going to want to take that mask off before you drive down the street yeah. so you don't frighten anybody, right? <laughs> yeah. Plus, you can see good? Yeah. All right. Enjoy yourself. Have a good night. running. <laughs> Earlier today, we had a call about a male black, about uh, 14 years old, subject that was armed with a gun, apparently robbed a uh, female of a cell phone. Uh, we were in the area, we couldn't couldn't find him. Uh, now we're en route to a uh, call about a male white juvenile waving a gun in, uh, around in the air. Uh, we're in the same general area as the other call was, so we're not quite sure if these things are uh, both related. He was last seen just a few minutes ago, right down the street here. You got a gun in your ass. pants? Uh, turn him around, turn him around, turn him around. Uh, here it is. I'm sorry, man. Uh, turn around. I'm a trying to. Toy. It's a toy. Uh, Quit. That's good. I don't have to be Looks like a Glock. What are you doing with this thing? I found it. You found it? Yeah. Where did you find it? Down the street. Then why do we have people call people calling us and telling us that you're waving it in the air? What? Huh? I'm gonna be waving no gun in the air. I'm not stupid. How old are you? Fifteen. And that's all I got, sir. So why don't you tell me what you're doing with this BB gun? I was walking down the street and I found it. Okay, what well, you know what you're doing right now is you're lying to me, okay? Now listen to me. Look at me, okay? The only way you can avoid not going to jail tonight is to tell me the truth. You understand that? Do you understand what I'm? Yes, sir. I'm telling you. Do your parents know where you're at? No. Yeah, they let me go out walking. They let you go out walking? When we take you home and show them that, they're gonna say that's his, that's that's your your BB gun and he's been allowed to have. Are they gonna tell us that? Yes, sir. So you didn't find it, that, did you? It was my brother's. So you've been lying to me the whole time. Yes, sir. All right. Have a seat right there, Dad. This is what we have so far. Tobias is the actual perpetrator. He's the one who stuck the gun uh, in the girl's ribs and stole the phone. Uh, stuck, it, stuck it in her rib, said, if you move, I shoot you. If you say anything, I shoot you. If you scream, I shoot you. He was with the white male with the red hair. Uh, he snatched it off of her off of her, and then ran. OK, he told us that he was waving the thing up there. Let's talk to him and see what he's going to do. He can either be he can either be a witness or he can be a defendant in this particular case. So, all right. OK, step on out here, young man. OK, let me explain something to you, OK? It appears right now that the, 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 the trouble that you're in has gotten a whole lot worse. You need to tell us the truth about this gun and who had it and what they used it for. I got it and uh, gave it to Tobias, and he went to the girl and put it to her and took her cell phone. And took her cell phone? Yes. Okay. Where did that happen? Up there by the apartment buildings. Did he tell you what he was going to do with it? Yes, sir. Where did he go after he uh, took the gun from you? Like we started walking up there. You guys started walking together? Yeah. And you were with him, obviously, when all this happened, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What happened to the gun after he did that? Did he give it back to you? Yeah. Like, he's, I was sitting on the other side of the parking lot when he did it. And then he just walked away here. 
Get okay. back to me. Okay. Come see back in the car. We're going to take you on home, all right? Talk to your parents. Right now, you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Yes, sir. Let's see. I don't think he was actually involved in the robbery itself, okay? He just had the weapon and supplied it, okay? Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead. And, we're gonna go ahead and take take these handcuffs off of you, okay? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have you write out a statement for us, okay? And then we're gonna release you to your mother. Have you ever okay. seen this before? All right. Never owned a BB gun. Okay. Never owned a BB gun. Never borrowed it from anybody. No sir. As far as you know, it's never been in this house. Not that I know of. Okay. Whose gun is it? It's Tobias's. Okay. The white. You just continue to lie to me. We've told your mother her other son had a gun in the house that she was unaware of, and that's where you got it from. Now, that obviously caused her some concern. Okay, and then and, and here we find out that that's, not, that that's not the case, that you're lying to us about that. Mom, I, I can't stress enough the severity of what's occurred here. He's going to be charged for the disorderly conduct to be cited in the juvenile court, and you're going to have to appear down there with him. Maybe he'll learn a good hard lesson out of this whole thing. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The thing I like most about Fort Worth is before I got hired on here, I came and I, I did a ride in with another police officer. He'd been with the department for about 15 years and uh, he had nothing but good things to say about the city. So I'm from up north and uh, it is a big change for me to come down here into Cowtown. You see uh, officers riding around downtown in cowboy hats and boots on horseback. It just got flagged down by a complainant at a convenience store. It said somebody just took off with his car and we're pulling up behind the vehicle that's matching the description now. Give me your hands! Give me your hands! Give me your other hand! Stop grabbing the cuffs, man! Good job, bro. Get up. Go ahead, take a breather. Told you to stop. Well, the middle guy does. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. Why are you running? Because I got a guy, a white guy done. Save it. Okay. Hey, I, what's going on? What happened? He stole two 18 packs no. up here. Shut up. Yes, Shut up. Let me put him in the car. Put him in my car. Oh, her car? All right. Have a seat, young man. Hey, you're running, uh... What's going on, sir? What happened? I was over at 7-Eleven, uh, and uh, <clears throat> this girl was running out of there and said that a guy in a white T-shirt took two 18 packs of beer. Okay. So I saw the police officer pull around over there to get the guy. Okay. I went over there to help him. He couldn't find him. So I went back over to the 7-Eleven because I was going to give me something to drink. As soon as, I came, as soon as I pulled in, the police officer pulled up over there to, to arrest him, and he took off running, and he came right by me. Okay. So I took him. I took him down. I tried to take him down. Well, I saw you, I saw you all running. That was a good job. So it was right up here at the convenience store up here on the corner? Right up here at the store. Okay. And uh, so 
I told the, guy, the other officer that I was just there to help him, whatever I can do. So, oh, do you want I can give you a ride on up there? That would be nice. The there you go. No, we're going to just go back up here to the store and see, uh, talk to the uh, employees and see if that's the guy or not that took the stuff. All right. I caught him once, and, and I, I managed to hit him, and he jerked away from me and ran another half block. Did he swing at you? Yeah, he when, when I told him to stop and I grabbed his hand, he, he started to swing. And, oh, did he? Okay. So he did, did he have the property with him at that not, time? No, he didn't, but he oh, didn't okay. hit me. Well, that could change us from theft to a robbery, if this is the right guy. I hope he did good work. So what happened? Come by here, and I, I knew something was up because I seen several of the clerks out here walking this way through the parking lot. They're never out here. They're always manning the, yeah. manning the desk inside. and. Hey, this guy, they pointed at this car over here, that front gold car you see the hood of, the front end. Oh, okay, out. yeah. I went over there. That car's been parked there for months. Yeah, well, that, that's what I was saying. And then hush, be yes, quiet. Okay? Not you. Hush. Then I'm making a block trying to find him, this guy in a white truck. I don't know if he is a citizen He's a witness. Yeah, he just, sent, just saw what anyway, was going on. He, uh, he was telling me the guy was getting out of the car over here. I looked back, the car stopped in traffic. This dude's climbing out of it. And I said, you know, hollered at him to stop, hang on. He took off, made the block around here three or four times. Then he ran, ran across Lancaster, back down here. This guy was after him. He's the one that actually caught him out yeah. there in the middle of the beach. Yeah. I'm Why did you swing at this man here? I didn't swing at him. I tried to dodge. You no. grabbed your hand. You I, I yanked away, sir. Why don't you tell me what happened? Sir, I went, I had got in the store. True enough. I was buying an 18-pack. Okay. I picked up, I picked up and I know, the guy in the getaway car, he put it in his car and burned off. OK. Now, the guys were chasing me. Other than that. So you paid for the beer that you took? No, I was going to pay for it, but then I, the guy said, come on, right, in the okay, white car. So, so you just picked it up and took off? Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. Where's your money? I it, it just left it all in the car. Oh, OK. Exactly. All right. So was this the same kind of beer here you were buying? Yeah. OK. But, but the other guy is the one who snatched the two Two cases of beer and, and took off. I had it in his car. What's his name? Uh, JJ. JJ what? That's what I know about. That's all you know him? Yes, How long you known this guy? About two, about a month and a half. A month and a half, and all you know is his first name? Yes, sir. All right. Well, um, we're going to restrain this young man. OK, yeah. You, you know who this young man is? No. This is a young man that bailed out Officer Barnett's car driving down the road with handcuffs on. No, it isn't. He is not going to bail out of mine. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. So, so you got a good history of running and escape from the police, don't you? Hey, you're under arrest for robbery. I'm not in there anymore. We're stealing your two cases of beer right there. How do you see? Are these tied enough? Yeah. I sure hope they are. Well, thanks again. We appreciate your help. Thank if you, it's not sir. for people like you, we wouldn't catch these people. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank goodness for honest citizens. Right now, we're going to be en route to a uh, domestic. We've already got two officers arrived. Uh, we're unsure of the details, but uh, we're, we're about a block away. So we're just going by there and assist them in resolving that problem. You know, Las Vegas is still a very small town, and there's a great likelihood that you're going to see a person more than once and come into contact with them more than once. So, um, you know, if you can develop a good rapport with them from the start, they'll remember that. Two John, we put me out to John 34, please. Now I broke the door in the back in, getting into my house because I don't want to throw all my tools away. You know, if you don't work and you don't do nothing, you know, things aren't very valuable to you when you don't pay for them. How long have you not lived here for? I've, I've always lived here. So you have your tools and things in the house right now? Uh, I put them in my truck. Right? I put them in my truck. Were I, you staying here last night? Not last night, because okay. I... Where did you stay last night? I stayed in a motel. OK, where did you stay the night before? I stayed in a different motel. OK, so that's our question. How long has it been since you've not stayed at this house? I've been here every day. I didn't spend the night here okay. since Saturday. That's what I'm asking. How long has it been? Are you? 
what's the situation? Are you guys getting a divorce? Uh, hopefully. It's Saturday. I was sick of the dog. There's rat poison in the trash. All of a sudden, there's rat poison in every place. I was sick of the dog Friday night. She ripped out all the thermostats in my, my part of the house, and I tried to fix it, and she just ripped it out again. She swung at me with a hammer, and I restrained her, and I told her, knock your off, and then I cut her up, and she kept, she swung at me, swung at the door with a baseball bat with a hammer and a meat cleaver. She's tearing my whole house up. I was sicker than a dog. I couldn't even hardly walk, so I went to a motel that night just so I could get some sleep because I was too sick to mess with it. I've been messing with it for Did you call months. the police on any of those occasions? No, I did not. What's her story? He packed up a suitcase on Friday and took off because they're done. She thought he was gone for good. She wants him to go buy him a pack of cigarettes. He says, no, she didn't have any money. So she says, I'm selling some of your tools so I can get a pack of cigarettes. He comes over to get his tools. She won't let him in. He did something to the back door. I don't know what. And then he broke that window there. What do you need out of here today? What are you here for today? I was here to make sure my tools didn't get thrown in the trash that just went by. Everything Work. I got, she signed so, it. Okay, let's get your stuff out, get it loaded in the truck. I'll have her sit over here so she won't bother me, okay? What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to keep you out of jail, okay? Because if you come back here, I understand it's your house. If you come back here and you guys start getting heated up and you hit her. I never hit her. I'm just saying, okay? I'm telling you, I never hit her. Okay, let's go get your stuff. Young lady? Hang on a second. Move over to that side of the wall. Sit down, all right? Down there? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You know, we run into problems when it comes to property and who gets what. Uh, we don't like to get involved with who can take what property. Generally, our suggestion is you take the things that you need to live on. The male half is willing to leave. He's willing to stay somewhere else. Uh, the additional property as far as TV, stereos, couches, uh, we can let the courts resolve that. That's going to be a civil matter. That's mine. Put it back. That's mine. Keep it. That's mine. Hey, hey, we're not fighting over stuff. I want you to get the stuff that you need to live on and you need to work on, this okay? Is my TV. So you can see how this escalates rapidly. Um, the arguments over property starting. Uh, TV stays. I purchased the TV go to from civil, Walmart. Got to go to civil court and fight that out. TV Just stays. Just the TV back. You have the other one. Just taking tools and, and the clothes you need, and you guys can go to court over the TV and furniture and everything else. Uh, he works for a, appears to be a construction company. Uh, he's got a lot of his personal belongings out already. Uh, he's saying that he still needs to get tools and other items that he needs for work. So we're going to let him gather those items. Uh, you can see in the, on the bottom corner of that window, just right of the door, the bottom left portion of the window, I guess when he had come here earlier prior to us getting here, uh, he was trying to get in the house. He got a little upset and broke the window there. Fortunately for him, it's not a crime to destroy your own property, so he won't be going to jail for that. Hey, Art, later on, will you call CPS and leave a message for them and let them know that she has drawn a picture of you on the wall, put your name on it, wrote Jailbird on it, and she's throwing knives at it. Okay. She, Those are the things that CPS. There's needs rat to know poison about. around all of a sudden. I've been Art, sicker than a dog. Art, She's trying to kill Art. me. CPS needs to know these things. Okay. Okay. You yeah. need to let them know. Be rational with them. Don't yell at them. Okay. All right. Otherwise, they're not going to respond to you. Pictures on the wall. Yeah, this looks like it's supposed to be a picture of Art. Yeah, it's Art. Uh, she, she has his name written above it. Jailbird on the right side of it there, and uh, it appears that she's neither. She's been throwing the darts. So been throwing darts at it. Like knife blades to me. Uh, Sharp and long. You know, that's somewhat disturbing. I mean, um, so that's not normal behavior for most of us. Well, we appreciate your cooperation. No problem. Like I said, we're just going to let him get a few, some of his tools. Yeah. I mean, uh, but this is all over cigarettes this morning? Is that how yeah, this started? Yeah. You just want a pack of cigarettes, huh? I just want huh? a pack of cigarettes. OK. Uh, what's the story behind the picture on the wall? I mean, that was just a little disturbing. <laughs> but I thought it would be better that we throw darts at the wall than him. OK, you're not concerned about your kids seeing that? And no, I'd, no. I'd I mean, I to throw darts at him. Yeah, but I mean. It's better a bullseye, you know? Well, Art's agreed to go his own way. Unfortunately, this hasn't resulted in a battery. Uh, he's gotten items that he needed for work. 
uh, everything else is going to be worked out through the court process as far as the house and all the assets. You can go back inside. You know, this argument took place over a pack of cigarettes. Generally, it starts at breaking property and ends up in batteries. So hopefully, the, they'll both take our words of advice and stay away from each other. And the next contact they have with each other, hopefully, they'll call us first. I'm Deputy Mundell with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department. I work in the Mountain Detachment. We have about 700 miles of area we cover out here. Uh, that goes all the way up to the entrance to Mount Rainier National Park. We have a, a nice area to work. It's beautiful, but we also have a huge meth problem out here. We tend to be chasing call after call out here, and they're all somehow related back to the meth problem. Uh, best place in the world to work, though, because it's definitely beautiful. Deputy got some information that they've got some stolen property up at this this residence up here. Uh, out here in the mountain detachment, this is typical of uh, the kind of calls we're on and the kind of areas we're in. Lots of cars being stripped and lots of meth production. We're just going to bail right here. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Are you going to bite my ankles? Anybody here? Stop it. Stop it. Somebody was just here. A little propane torch still going. How come you got a propane torch going in the tent? Going? Yeah. You mean it's so turned on? Yeah. Oh. Would you please turn that off? I don't need another. I have never had a fire here and I don't need one now. It's turned on? Yeah. Can't really tell out here, but yeah, it's got a blue flame on it. Some of these crazy sun <laughs> Imagine that. Now, who's staying in these tents? Pardon? Who's staying in these? Uh, Jim's staying in, in one, and uh, Tom was staying in the other. He was at, on the road down below in the trailer, and they asked him to vacate. So he's moved up to here? Well, uh, temporarily, because they're all moving out. Because I sell the place, it's gone. Keep getting that chemical whiff, partner. No, there ain't no chemical here. <sighs> Muratic acid. Did Come on. Find him? Oh, look at that. Glenda, look at this. Oh, come on, man. There's fresh back there. See, you know. Fresh. Who's running back there? We want to know. Somebody is running. Who was back here that's not accounted for now? Tom would be the only one here, I guess. Yeah, OK, what's Tom wearing? wearing? Jim's up, Jim's up here in the porch right now. Well, what's I Tom wearing? Why's Tom okay. running? Hey, John. Not on that. You got some cheesy porn or something? These are items used to manufacture meth. Street? That's exactly what they are. Red P. That's what it looks like. Let's see. They don't ever have any clue of what's going on. This stuff just appears on their property. This is very typical of the kind of uh, items we run into out here in the woods and these trailers back where nobody's supposed to see. And they manufacture their meth. Hold your breath, dude. The hard part out here, they're dumping all these chemicals out here. And it's hard for the dog because he gets a chemical snout and uh, throws him off a little oh, bit. I mean, more stuff out there. Yeah, it's all over. Come. Oh, God, smell it. Well, there's some there. It's all over. Come here. Chemical stuff's dumped over here, too. Fooey. Buckets. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of meth cooking in Plats. the evenings, huh? Find the bad guy. It's all over. Check him out. Where'd he go? Find him. Where'd he go? Where's the bad guy? Dang! Get your hands where we can see him. Show me your hand. I got him. I got him. Can I go around to the dog? Show me your hands. <laughs> I'm up out of there now. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 right. Face Hands away! Face away! Come towards me! Turn around! Can I go? Yeah, go ahead. Your other hand. Just stay right there. Don't move around. Turn back around this way. 
Yeah. Basically, you know why we're looking for you? No. You have no idea why we're looking for you. No. Are you living in those tents up there? Pardon? You living in the tents? Yeah. Okay. So that meth lab up there at the tents is not yours? No. Never seen it before, huh? Well, you know what? Before I read you your rice, we're going to give you a little time to think about that when we're walking out of here, and then we'll talk later, okay? Yeah. So right now, I don't even want to question you. I just want to get you out of here. Because this is a pretty miserable you know place to be. Yeah. Let's straight, go this way. through there is probably closest to the road. Which way? Straight through there. But we're right on a trail, Jerry. Okay. I'm good with that, too. Phew. Out here in the woods like this is pretty much ideal for us. Fooey, heel! Wait because there's nothing else other than animal scent to contaminate the area where the person's ran. And he's, this guy had about 45 minutes head start on us. So once he's able to get out in the woods and think he's gone far enough to hide from us, he lays down like this one did and he saturates that area. He can go over an hour and still smell this guy, which we would never find. You can decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer questions or make any statements. You understand all that? So, basically, when, when you're saying reboil, you're using your used coffee filters and trying to get some more meth out of them. Is that what you're doing? Right. Okay. Sludge is what they call it. Sludge? Yeah. Is that even any good meth? Is it just... It's not bad? If you get something out of it. How many coffee filters you got to go through to get that? Probably a pack. Really? Why'd you run? <laughs> you answer that for me. You knew we were going to catch you, right? I was hoping not. You were hoping not? We appreciate your honesty, and we're, we'll see what we can do for you, okay? Okay. Basically, out here in the county, this is our biggest problem. The people that are doing the meth, using it, making it, are also the ones that are ripping off houses. Uh, if meth was gone, we'd probably lose 70% of our crime rate out here. So, but this is very typical for what we run into out here. Lots of meth stuff. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll 